Hi, I'm Gamakatsu Pro, Jeremy Lawyer. I want to talk to you a little bit about drop shotting, but more on a power side of it, you know, something like power shotting. You know, you can see here I got my standard drop shot, but what I've got here is a bait caster. It's a 7.3, 14 pound Sunline, and then I've got a one aught straight shank Aaron Martin's nano coated finesse flipping hook. And I like this for whenever I want to rig a straight shank right through the bait. You know, there's no wrong way to do it. You can either Texas rig it for weedless modifications, or you can just thread it right on there. And the reason I choose this hook is it's got this keeper back here. And what that's going to do is keep that bait from pulling off or it's going to keep it from rolling side to side. And it just really rounds it out. But the applications I'm going to throw this in is places like up on Lake St. Clair, up on places where there's a lot of sand, drag it for smallmouth. I don't feel like smallmouth at times are too line shy. I want to use a little better stuff. Maybe I'm bed fishing and I don't want it on the bottom. You can actually take a standard Superline EWG or any hook that's your favorite, even the round bend, and use this same application and just Texas rig it. This is a really great way to get that approach off the bottom that really makes a difference sometimes as the fish eating or not. Gives it a nice appeal to where it just looks like either an injured bait fish, you can use a ton of different kinds of baits on it, but the whole key to this is being able to keep that bait up off the bottom. Maybe there's vegetation, short vegetation growing, and when you flip a jig in there, whatever it might be, it disappears into it. Well, think about power shotting with some heavier equipment, and then see if that won't help you put some fish in the boat.